Hello and welcome to our next YouTube tutorial. In this video we are going to create a card with nice 3D effects using CSS transforms and transitions. This little project will be built based on pure HTML and CSS. So after watching this video you will be able to create nice and cool 3D effects using just pure CSS. Alright, so here we have our card. It consists of two main parts. We have frame and content. They are placed in 3D space. I mean they are rotated with opposite directions and if we hover over the card then those parts will be rotated back and placed together. Okay so that's it what we're going to build. In VS Code I have two different files for HTML and for CSS. Inside the head element I've got two links, one for Google font and the second one for style.css file. You are able to download starter setup files from the link in the description. Alright, let's go ahead and start building HTML markup, open development and assign to it class card wrapper. Then inside it open another development which is going to be the card itself. Then we need another div for the frame, so assign to it class frame. Next we have to create content, so open again development with class name, content and finally we have to insert inside content h1 heading element which should have class name heading. It will consist of two different words, they should have different styles so I'm going to wrap the first one by span element so let's open it and insert here text 3d and then we need second word effect. Ok that's it about HTML, let's open the style.css file and start writing some styles. At first I'm going to get rid of default margin and padding from every element, so select them using an asterisk and set margin as 0 and padding as 0 as well. Next we need to select card wrapper. I'm going to place card perfectly in the center of the page. For that let's at first define width and height for the wrapper. I'm going to set width as 100%. As for height, I want to set it as 100% of the viewport. So we have to assign to it 100VH. And then use flexbox. In order to center the element perfectly we need the following properties and values. Display flex then in order to center element horizontally we need justify content center and for vertical centering we need align items center so as you can see content is placed in the center okay now we have to take care of card itself first of all i'm going to prepare the 3d environment and for that we have to use one of the css properties called perspective Let's select card and insert here perspective with value 800 pixels. So perspective allows us to define how far the element is placed from the user. Alright, next I'm going to select frame. Let's define border, assign to it values 10 pixels, solid and the color 333 3, 3. and also I want to make its corner slightly rounded using border radius with the value 5 pixels. Alright so the border is ready and for now that's it about the frame. Next I'm going to start working on content so let's select it, define its width and height, I'm going to set width as 400 pixels as for height, let's set it as 200 pixels. Then change background color. I'm going to use RGBA value right here 255, 201, 25 and opacity 0.9. Next I'm going to place the heading in the center of the content. For that let's use again flexbox. I'm going to grab those properties from here and Let's paste them for content. 
Okay, so as you can see, the heading is placed in the center, and now I'm going to customize it. So select H1 element. At first, I'm going to change font family. Let's use here a font called Cantorel Sans Serif. Then transform text into uppercase using text transform uppercase. And change color. Use here color 333. Three, three. Alright, next I'm going to select span element, which actually wraps the first word of heading. So write heading span. Assign to it background color and use here color 333. Three, three. And also change color of text, make it white. Alright, so our elements are customized and it's time to start creating 3D effects. As you remember, by default, frame and content are rotated. So let's rotate at first frame. We have to rotate it according to Y axis. So let's right here, transform, then use rotate Y and insert here, minus 40 degrees. So as you can see, the frame is rotated and the content is rotated as well. Because it's the child element for the frame, actually we need to rotate content but with opposite direction and also we have to rotate it according to Y and also according to X axis. So we have to write here, transform, then rotate Y with value 60 degrees. And then after that we need rotate X with value 20 degrees. Now, as you can see, the content is rotated, but not in 3D space, because in this case, perspective doesn't have an effect on content. The reason is that perspective is defined for card, and content is not the direct child of the card. So, in order to apply the 3D environment to content, we should use another property called transform style. We have to assign it to frame, which is the parent of content, and we have to set it as Preserve 3D. So now we have here needed result, content is rotated in 3D space. Okay, so now it's time to create hover effect. On hover we need to give both frame and content default positions. So let's select a card with hover. Then select frame and pass here, transform, rotate Y with value 0. Next, select content, write again card hover, content, and we need to pass here transform, again rotate Y with 0, and then rotate X with value 0. So now if we hover, then elements will be rotated but without any effect because we need a transition to make rotation smoother. So let's assign to frame transition with values all and 0.4 seconds. Then grab this line of code and paste it for content as well. Now if we hover again, then we will get a nice 3D effect. The last thing that I want to do is to make corners of content slightly rounded and then we will remove it when we hover over the card. So let's assign to content border radius with value 5 pixels and then down below insert border radius with value 0. Alright, so if we hover over the card, then everything will work perfectly. And actually, with this little project, we are done. So, if you enjoyed this video and learned some new and useful stuff, then please thumbs up, comment, subscribe to our channel, and what's important, click the bell to get notified about new upcoming tutorials. Alright, see you in the next video.